a depression. You know, I know what it's like to. Ooh, uh, you know, I'm gonna go loud, child. This is fucked up. Um, I just, I just can't. I just can't. I'm trying so hard not to like process this and, and the fact that he had no one to speak to. He had no one to speak to. No one. No one could, no one could like, no one could no one could see that there's something wrong. He smiled through the pain. He would do gigs, he would do appearances, he would be out and about, and he would be smiling. And no one saw that he's actually dying inside. No one saw that he's actually dying inside. I went through that. I know how it feels like. I know how it feels like to die inside and have no one to talk to, no one to understand. This shit is fucked up because in our industry, people people feel like it's it's looking good, you know, you've got the endorsement deal, like, I was in a room yesterday, and I lost my shit, people were like, this guy just got an endorsement deal with a bag, with a bank, this guy had his life going well, had music going well, etc., and he would kill himself, that's not depression, people need to start understanding that depression is real, the moment we start taking it seriously, like how we take cancer seriously, the moment how we start taking cancer serious, like taking depression seriously, like we take cancer, is the moment we're going to have less suicidal cases. Men are scared to speak out. Men are so afraid to speak out because they just feel like they just have to bottle it up. We need to drink alcohol, get bad bitches, and that's it. And that's wrong. We keep losing idols. We keep losing people that don't need to die. And I just can't anymore because, like, I went through, I went through. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. If it wasn't for my friends, my family, that are close to me seeing that I've changed and I'm not me, I'm smiling a lot, I'm, I'm giving, uh, they went, uh, it's just so unfair. People don't understand.